Hey everyone, it's Brie. I'm back with another scrapbook process video for the Shimmers Paints Color Kits team and I am working with the March 2022 color kit and I am going to show you everything that comes in the kit right now. Uh, first is a Vibes in Sweetheart. It's a really pretty pink. The second one is an Inklings in First Blush. You can see how sparkly that is. It's got a really pretty like satin finish. Uh, the Creamies in Hot Mama. It's oh my gosh, I love this pink. It's so pretty. And then we also get another Inklings in Pinkaboo. And then the last one is a Shimmers in the Perfect Pear. And it's a brand new color. And it's this really, really pretty green. So um, the Shimmers has liquid already in there. Those are the original Shimmers. The Inklings and the Creamies that I previously showed y'all, uh, you just have to add water to get that paint activated. And then it'll be good to go. So we also get these exclusive dots here, super cute, as well as a stencil. And I love the stencil. It's um, simple and perfect. And here is the exclusive cut file that we get this month. Just a book with some florals um, coming out of it. So I wanted to add some extra sparkle to my layout. So I got out my favorite glitter paste. It is a Nouveau in Moonstone, I believe is what it's called. So I'm just taking my palette knife and I am going to apply that paste through the stencil in a few different areas. I have a piece of thick white cardstock. It is Basil Marshmallow and I didn't prep it with any gesso. Um, I knew I was going to add some liquid to it, but I didn't add too much. So I felt like I didn't need the gesso. Um, so yeah, so I had an idea that I would put the book at somewhat of an angle so I'm just applying the paste uh, keeping that in mind as to where I was already going to place the cut file so um, now that I've got my paste put on I'm going to put that aside and uh, to dry and then I'm going to get to work on painting the cut file I did choose to paint it because this cut file is very delicate um, and I thought it would be really pretty just to paint the actual cut file instead of backing it. Um, so I'm just going in with all of the pinks from the kit except the Sweetheart uh, to color the florals and then I'm going to paint the uh, leaves in the cut file using that perfect pair uh, shimmers. And I did apply two different coats uh, to make the colors more vibrant especially um, the first blush and the pinkaboo is very, very light, but very sparkly. So you can add extra coats if you want more, um, like a deeper color. So, um, yeah, so that was, uh, went fairly quickly. I did back the whole cut file using, um, a piece of vellum. Well, not the whole, well, yeah, I guess basically just the, the open book part I did, uh, back with vellum just for some extra inches. I didn't want to leave it, uh, empty. Uh, so for my actual background, I'm going to go ahead with the Vibes Sweetheart. I sprayed it on and then I'm going to go in with the other pinks from the kit. So I've sprayed it, I've added some water, and then I'm just going to bring in each color and, <clears throat> excuse me, and then just blend in all those colors with my paintbrush and let them run and, uh, <clears throat> I'm so sorry, excuse me. And then um, do some splatters here and there. Um, but I do like to apply paint over paste. I think it gives this really nice look and texture and interest, uh, especially those lines. Those lines are great. I love that stencil so much. It's very simple, but it I just like the way it looks on a page. Um, so yeah, so I'm just gonna keep painting until I'm satisfied with my background. And then I'll set that aside to dry. <clears throat> oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, excuse me. Okay, so I went ahead and adhered my entire cut file down, and then I'm gonna go ahead and start working on the rest of my layout. Um, I'm using the, let's see, Lots of Love, I believe, collection from Doodlebug. Yes, Lots of Love. And I'm going to uh, use this photo that I took of my son, Elijah. This was um, him uh, at, or before his Mardi Gras ball at his middle school. So he's so cute. This was his first dance. Um, and he was so excited. He went with his girlfriend and they just had a good time, but it was a lot of fun seeing him get dressed up and, um, just like really look forward to this dance. So, um, now I've got my photo like right on top of the book. I thought it was cute to do that. And then I'm going to use the dots as, um, starting points for my three embellishment clusters. Uh, so I've got those down and I'm going to go ahead and go through some ephemera that I had uh, chosen earlier. It's like the floral ephemera. I have some um, florals and some leaves. I also have that little circular um, piece that says love grows here. 
and I'm just going to tuck in and layer. And then I also pulled in some of these epoxy uh, floral stickers as well. And I'm trying to think if I add anything else. Oh, I got, I do add a few of those rainbows that are also epoxy. And then I pull out some of these mini icons also from the collection, which are so cute. I add this little bear. And then I think because there is a B dot, I do add, was it a bird or a lady? I think I add a couple little ladybugs just because I have a bee. So I thought it was super cute. Um, but that's about it. I had a lot of fun with this kit. Um, the pinks are perfect for spring and if you had any valentine's day photos that you wanted to document um this kit is just absolutely gorgeous and i love when we get stencils because i love using um any kind of paste so here is my final layout don't forget if you place any shimmers orders whether it's after you watch this video or anytime you place it just make sure you add my name to the notes section of your order and you'll receive a free gift but here are some up close shots but thank you again for watching commenting and subscribing and i'll see you in the next one bye